Now let's head out to Nets Camp out in San Diego where Om Young Masuk is live. So Om, James Harden said at Media Day that he wants to finish his career with the Nets. What are you hearing about his contract extension? Look, I, the Nets are optimistic that this is going to be done, but it, it has to be done prior to the regular season, the start of the season. Uh, James Harden is saying right now he's just focused on winning a championship. Um, he's, he, as he said to Malika, um, he's never been uh, in this position where he can really kind of think about being a free agent. He's always kind of been loyal to his team. But he also said it's not about the money. For him, it's really about being on a good team, being with guys that he likes, Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving. He talked about how hard it is going to be to leave them. Um, Steve Nash was even asked about this yesterday, and he said he's pretty optimistic that Kyrie Irving and James Harden are going to be with the Nets long term. Interesting. Now, Kyrie Irving is at camp and practicing. How has he been received? He's been received fine. I mean, look, his whole thing is he doesn't want to be a distraction. Uh, and so far, he hasn't been. But look, there isn't a ton of media here from New York. This is really like a couple writers from New York, some local writers from San Diego. Um, so it's not like he has this media crush on him watching his every move. We were allowed in a practice at the end of practice, so we really only got to see Kyrie kind of shoot around and then walk off the court. Um, the big three is slated to talk later this week, possibly tomorrow. Uh, and so I think that's when Kyrie probably will ask more questions about all the protocols in place for those who are not vaccinated. Finally, today is Kevin Durant's 33rd birthday. I know when he was with Team USA, they joked that it was his birthday and it wasn't his birthday. Are the Nets planning anything for him? An outing out at uh, the gas lamp district. What's going on today? So far, I'm told nothing yet uh, at, at, in practice. They are in practice right now as we speak right behind me. But I'm sure the Nets have something planned in store for him. Maybe we'll get a glimpse of it at the end of practice. Look. It is a beautiful day in San Diego, George. I am sure Kevin Durant and the Nets are going to find a way to celebrate his 33rd birthday somewhere here in San Diego. Well, I can suggest many places. La Jolla, Cor you know, Coronado, <laughs> wherever they'd like to go. There's plenty of great places in San Diego. Ohm, thank you for joining us, brother. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right. All right, we now welcome back our NBA insider, Brian Winhorst. Fellas, let's stick with the Nets and obviously Perks here as well. KD has two titles. Kyrie has one title. Harden says he isn't worried about the money, but he's looking for the Nets to be contenders for years to come. James Harden also said he's in no rush to sign a contract extension. So, Wendy, how big a deal is this? Yeah, I mean, this is probably one of the biggest stories in the NBA no one's talking about. James Harden not extending his contract before training camp, which is what the Nets said they wanted to do. And I appreciate his willingness to discuss it. He answered a question from me about it at Nets Media Day. But I just can't take him necessarily at face value because I do believe it's about the money. And here's the reality. If he signs an extension now, he does indeed tie himself to the Nets for the next four years. Uh, and he can only guarantee himself somewhere in the neighborhood of 160 million great money if he waits until next summer becomes an unrestricted free agent just kind of like what uh, Kawhi Leonard did he can sign for five years and 270 million that's 160 verse 270 that's a massive difference but it requires him to become an unrestricted free agent which is uncomfortable for the nets i don't think it necessarily means he's going anywhere but when he tells malika i've never been a free agent before that sounds to me like he's going to intend to be a free agent so it's not a red flag or red alarm but it's something that we definitely have to monitor, and we can probably no longer say that Zach Levine is going to be the number one free agent on the market. It might be James Harden. Mm -hmm. And you know what, Wendy? I agree with you. For the simple fact, we all know that James Harden, he could talk about it's not about the money, but we all know it's about the money when it comes down to James. <laughs> he loved the game of basketball, but he also loved his lettuce. And I don't see him leaving $110 million on the table if he could wait a couple more months or wait till this NBA season and get $110 extra million more dollars. But here's the thing, right? I also think that James Harden is also going to evaluate this Nets team, right? And, and I think the person that's going to get evaluated the most is not Kevin Durant, it's not Steve Nash, it's not Sean Marks, it's Kyrie Irving. And how they handle Kyrie Irving. We all know right now he's not vaccinated. Uh, we know what's going on and the rules about, you know, for us, they're playing in New York, that he could possibly miss more than half of the season or half of the season due to him not being vaccinated. So 
you know, I think with James is, one, yes, he wants more money, but two, he's trying to fill out the situation. He want to see what direction they're going to go in and how they're going to handle Kyrie Irving and what Kyrie Irving is going to do at that. That is a fascinating point, Perk. And, and look, last year was just weird. It was clunky for a lot of teams, but them specifically in a lot of ways. So I do think just to see what the fit looks like. And, you know, Brian nailed it. If you've never been a free agent before, it's nice to be courted. I don't think there's any doubt. And I'm not even leaving, forget about 110 million, I'm not leaving 110 bucks on this table, let alone 110 million. So I ain't mad at anybody for leaving, you know, making sure they try to get their money. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.